Yo, 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 what's up, guys? It's the boy, the Black Lizard, coming at you again with another one of my infamous sorcerer's guides. Um, so the last time we spoke about Diablo 4, um, the level cap was 25 on the beta. We were playing a Lightning Sork. Now, a uh, quick recap on the Lightning Sork. Uh, well, it got nerfed. It got nerfed pretty hard. Um, so they nerfed a lot of things. They nerfed the Legendary, where if you have a Barrier active, you deal more damage. Um, it was 66% uh, if you put it on a two-hander. Uh, now it's down to... Um, 50% on, on a two-hander or 25% on any other slot. Um, they also nerfed uh, Chain Lightning, uh, the skill. They also nerfed uh, Greater Chain Lightning. Um, they nerfed uh, also the barriers. The, it, people weren't really picking this as well, like this protection talent. Uh, it used to be five seconds barrier. So you would just use a teleport, and for five seconds you had a barrier. You could spam out Chain Lightnings, and that would benefit from the Legendary. That also got nerfed, and a bunch of other nerfs. So TLDR... Uh, that build got uh, heavily targeted. Um, yeah. It happens. Um, anyway, uh, today's video, we are going to talk about the uh, new best build in Diablo 4, which, in my opinion, is uh, going to be the Ice Shard Sorceress. Um, they also did nerf some of the other builds. They nerfed Hydra a little bit. They also... Um, did some nerfs to Frost Nova, which was huge for that. Uh, for well, it's pretty big in this build as well. But they nerfed uh, Nova. Uh, cooldown has been increased. They also nerfed um, the Frost Nova uh, reduction cooldown uh, from uh, Enhanced Frost Nova, and they also nerfed Mystical Nova. I think by two seconds. So all in all, everything that we were doing uh, got nerfed uh, pretty hardcore. But the good news is, guys, we do have a new build for you guys that you can uh, play. And um, this build, I tested it with full BIS gear on the last beta because on the last beta, I had basically all the gear. Um, and this build wasn't really far off from the Chain Lightning build pre-nerf. And this build, it did get nerfed with the Nova thing. But aside from that, uh, it has been untouched. So this build is still really, really good. And I'm pretty sure this will be the best build. So let's talk about the build real quick. Now, uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to get one point in Frostbolt, you want to get one point in Enhanced Frostbolt, and then you want to get Glinting Frostbolt. Now, on the last beta, I didn't play Glinting Frostbolt in the end. I just put two points just so I can get to the, to the core skill node. But um, uh, the mana return is really nice, especially in the start when you don't have that much gear. Um, and then, of course, after that, you want to max out Ice Shards. This is your bread and butter. This is your main damage ability. So you want to max that out. You want to get Enhanced Ice Shards. 40% um, chance to ricochet, so basically more AoE damage. And then uh, I went with greater ice charge, uh, which means when you have a barrier, your ice charge treat the enemies if they were frozen. Now, if the enemies are frozen, it will always ricochet, so you'll always do more uh, AoE damage. And on top of that, it also has like a kind of a shatter effect, 25% increased damage to frozen enemies. So you definitely want that. The other thing that you always want for pretty much every single Sorcerer's build is Glass Cannon. You always want to max Glass Cannon. Now, you don't want to put any points in these defensive skills. If you can, you want to get these defensive skills from your necklace. You want a necklace with plus one rank of all defensive skills. Alternatively, you can also get those skills on your boots. So you want uh, plus teleport, you want plus Nova on your boots. So the best boots in the game basically would be plus uh, two teleport, plus two frost Nova, um, and then also uh, plus one charge of evade. Uh, in terms of legendaries, we'll get to that uh, in a second, but let's finish out talking about the build. Uh, you want to get Frost Nova, you want to get Enhanced Frost Nova, you want to get Mystical Frost Nova. Now on the beta, we're capped at level 20, so you can't really get any of the ultimate skills. Uh, and you can't get any of these fun activities that are down here. Um, so we're not going to talk about that too much. We're just going to talk about um, uh, what I've gone and done so far. So normally, I would pick Align the Elements and I would pick Protection. But Protection got nerfed. I would still play it even after the nerf. Just because it makes the build more fluid. And you're still going to kind of weave in uh, your right clicks when you have a barrier. So this is still good. Uh, you're just going to have to be a little bit more uh, precise with your timings. But... Because the beta is capped at level 20, I did not pick it. And instead, I put more points in Frost Nova um, just for the cooldown reduction. Uh, but normally, I would put uh, one point here and one point here. 
And uh, I would also uh, suggest getting um, some of these other builds, uh, some of these other skills that you don't have the points for right now because the beta, like I said, is capped at 20. Um, I would probably pick up Devastation and I would probably pick up Elemental Dominance as well uh, just for more burst damage, more single target uh, when you're pulling bosses, etc. Uh, and uh, right now my final skill is Flame Shield and that's because I just got it from my necklace that I just showed you. Uh, but I wouldn't use Flame Shield with this build if ultimate skills were unlocked. Instead, I would play Inferno and I would play Prime Inferno uh, because it makes grouping the mobs really easy. You just send uh, Inferno on a stack of mobs, it groups them up, then you can teleport there, Nova, and boom, everything was gonna die. So uh, it makes it really nice for just grouping up the mobs. Uh, it's gonna give you faster clear speed. So um, that's what I would go with. Then I would also go with enchantment, ice charge enchantment. You have to have this. If you don't have this, the build basically doesn't work. Uh, and, but you, all you need is level 15. You get it basically when you're doing the campaign in act one. Uh, then you just have to go and do a quest, which is just to go and do a dungeon. Um, the other thing, the only thing, because a lot of people were talking about my legendaries in the other build, I was decked out. My gear was insane. Uh, and it's kind of true. My gear was insane. Um, so um, this may, uh, this Sork, sorry, is completely different. I don't have any gear whatsoever. My gear is complete ass. And, and that's just to showcase that this build really doesn't need much gear. The only thing that you need, which is like a mandatory thing, would be this legendary right here. Your eye shards pierce three times, uh, dealing less damage per subsequent hit. Now, the reason why this is a must have is because uh, instead of, you know, a mob absorbing your ice shards, it will pierce through it and it will give you better AOE clear um, if you don't know what the spell piercing means in Diablo. Um, now, the uh, good news for you is that you can pick this legendary up just by doing a dungeon. All you have to do is uh, go and do uh, this one right here, uh, Dead Man's Dredge in Fractured Peaks, which is in Act 1. It's over here. Uh, this, ooh, there's a world boss coming in 15 minutes. We got we gotta do that. Uh, but dread, dead man's dredge right here. Just go and do this uh, one time, and you will unlock this legendary, and then you can just put it on any piece of gear like I did, uh, and that's it. That's all you need to do to uh, be up and running with this build. Uh, that's like the bare minimum, and uh, that's probably what you want at least when you're like leveling up and going through, you know, like the different acts. Now, uh, talking a little bit about the legendaries, the ones that I consider uh, must have legendaries. The, these are basically mandatory if you are playing this build. Uh, you want the double Nova. So uh, a little bit increased cooldown on Nova, but you have two charges, which is overall just a cooldown reduction on your Nova essentially. So this is really good to have. Uh, you're gonna be able to get more single target damage with Mystical Nova. You're gonna also be able to just clear more screens because this, uh, the way this works is uh, when you freeze people, you just shoot ice shards. So your Nova basically clears screens. So this is your bread and butter. The other thing that you want is the barrier legendary. Uh, when you have a barrier active, you deal more damage. You wanna put that on your weapon, rolls up to 50%. Uh, then you want more damage based on your mana. Uh, it's called Edge Masters. You want that on your neck, just like in the old build. Uh, a lot of the same legendaries. Uh, another one that's basically mandatory um, is um, your damage is increased on frozen targets. Now, uh, a good way to get all of these legendaries is to farm obols, um, which you get by just doing events, and then go to the Curiosity Vendor and then gamble offhand. Uh, because when you gamble off hands, they can only roll offensive stats and they cost 40 obols, um, which is also new, by the way. Um, they nerfed the drop rate on the legendaries from obols. Um, before it was 25% uh, chance, I believe. Now I think it's like around 5% chance to get a legendary. Uh, they also increased the cost of those. Uh, before it took 25 obols to um, get a legendary. Now it's uh, 40 uh, or to buy an item. Sorry, not to get a legendary. So those are some of the changes as well. Uh, that I've seen on the beta, uh, but anyway, let's go and test out this build in um, in the claim, Annika's claim. Uh, this is a really good dungeon to farm, uh, in my experience. Um, but for some reason, it is not reset, uh, which is uh, fortunate. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, actually, 
I think we can force reset it with a relog. Is this another thing? They removed the resetting dungeons. Uh, I thought it automatically resets when you go to town, but for some reason it did not. So we are just going to uh, do this. Go to Malnok. And then we're going to relog, and that should reset it. A little bit tedious. Blizzard, honestly, just add the, the reset back. Like, what's the point of that? Uh, I guess it's more, <laughs> it's kind of more a classic Diablo, like in Diablo 2. To reset, also, you have to, like, leave the game and go back in. Maybe that's why they did it. Um, but, yeah, this should work. Uh, and uh, let's uh, test out this build in uh, action. And uh, Now, the way you play the build is very simple. You just press Nova. You clear a whole screen. And whenever you have a barrier active, you right click. And when you want to build mana, you left click. Your left click also uh, makes mobs explode. So what you want to try to do is uh, you want to try to last hit um, the mobs with your left click. Uh, and uh, I like to dash in um, with evade to uh, group the mobs like this. Um, but right now, I want to get a little bit bigger group. But yeah, that's essentially the premise of it. Group up mobs and press Nova. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> that's the stork life. I know all the barbarians are watching. They're like, dude. Uh, and when you don't have Nova, you just uh, ice barrier. And we got an elite here. And this is like I said, without this is without gear. So I really don't have any gear. Like I'm wearing. Um, let me uh, clear up that first. Uh, I'm wearing a level 17 helm. Doesn't have like anything specific on it. Uh, this chest is good, uh, but it doesn't have like cold damage. It doesn't have perfect stats on it, plus damage, anything like that. Uh, my gloves literally don't do anything. It's probably the worst gloves ever. Um, and um, my legs, like it's nothing specific, nothing special. Boots aren't bad, but they're definitely far away from best in slot. I have a blue level 20 staff. Some... Um, Random rings with fire damage. They don't like the best stats on a ring would be like uh, vulnerability damage, damage to close enemies, uh, damage to frozen enemies, uh, cold damage, like stuff like that. Um, and I don't have that on any of these rings. So, uh, all in all, pretty bad gear. Don't have uh, all the legendary effects that I was talking about. There's a lot of things that we're missing, uh, but still. Um, this build is doing quite some work, so. Yeah. Seems good. I think this is going to be the best build uh, moving forward, because this build uh, was uh, was pretty comparable to... Um, oh, I should have picked up that shrine. Uh, this build was pretty comparable to Lightning Sork earlier. So, um, I think already, uh, with the nerfs happening, this build is, uh, for sure going to be better. Anytime you need mana, you can just do this. Actually, uh, <laughs> they died just from the Nova. I couldn't even, couldn't even click them. Um... So uh, yeah, uh, this is the Ice Charge build, and um, I will make a video on uh, Lightning Sorceress as well, because a lot of people are, you know, are Lightning Sork enthusiasts uh, like myself, so I will make a build for that, and um, this build, it's not that fluent right now because it's level 20, uh, so normally, uh, when you don't have Nova and when you don't have Ice Armor, uh, you never want to be in a situation where you're just like right-clicking like this. You always want to have either a barrier to, you know, boost your damage and make them frozen um, or uh, a Nova when you're right clicking. And if you don't have that, that's when you want to weave in Inferno. That's when you want to weave in a teleport. Um, that's when you want to use some of these other skills. But since we don't have enough points on the beta 
to go uh, and pick up uh, protection. Uh, right now we're not using protection, but I do recommend always using protection, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, it makes the build a little bit uh, more wonky, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that's the build I'm gonna be going. This is what I think is the best build uh, in the game. Ooh, talking about rings. Yeah, that's an upgrade. Um, but yeah, uh, this is what we're, what we're going with for now. Um, I'm going to make a build, like I said, for Lightning Sword. I'm going to make a build for um, uh, some of the other builds as well. Um, not Hydra, though, of course. But uh, some of the other builds. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. And uh, have a great day, night, evening, morning, whatever it is where you are. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace.